Okay. I recorded the entire episode for today without finding my notes about how I'm supposed to talking about AFib, cardiovascular issues, and uh, low thyroid. So in the first like five minutes, that's what we're doing. And then in the rest of today's episode, it will be <laughs> it will be more on low thyroid. It will be different symptoms. So in the body of today's episode, we're talking about low thyroid and infertility, low thyroid and chronic fatigue syndrome, low thyroid and fibromyalgia, and lastly, low thyroid and acne. You're getting a whole lot today. We are also talking about the cortisol connection with thyroid hormones in today's episode. So you'll want to stick around for the main show for that. Again, at the outset here, because <laughs> I didn't do it in the body because, you know, stuck that piece of paper where I didn't remember where it was. Um, let's, let's just like quickly cover the whole cardiovascular thing. All right. <clears throat> Your adrenals need thyroid hormone in order to successfully make like all of the, um, all of the hormones that your adrenals make and your adrenals make a ton of hormones. So it's not just like, oftentimes when we think about adrenals, we think cortisol. And the thing is, it's not just cortisol. It is also out of sterone, renin, uh, even estrogen and progesterone. Yep. That is right. Your adrenals make estrogen and progesterone. So women, as women, especially in that perimenopause period, when we're struggling with estrogen dominance, it's actually not estrogen coming from the ovaries, it's estrogen coming from the adrenals. Fact. And you know how you need that surge of luteinizing hormone in order to ovulate? Turns out it's not actually the surge of luteinizing hormone from the pituitary that causes ovulation. It's a slight uptick in progesterone released from the adrenals that coincides with that LH surge that prompts ovulation. So adrenal health is so important and low thyroid actually impacts adrenal health. And so this is why over time, when you go years and years and even decades without being diagnosed as being low thyroid, you can wind up in a state where your blood pressure is out of control. And that is because um, your adrenals are getting the signal to that your body needs like more more cortisol more adrenaline um and they're unable to make it because there's a lack of the necessary thyroid hormone but they are able to make these other hormones that hang on to like sodium within the body that control water and blood volume within the body like out of sterone and estrogen so anyways, all right. Then the other thing cardiovascular wise, like why is heart health? Why is atrial fibrillation so common with low thyroid? And it's because of this, your muscles, and this is, we're talking about fibromyalgia and the meat of today's episode, your muscles need um, thyroid hormone. Like your muscles are main storage reservoir or thyroid hormone within the body. And that thyroid hormone is doing something within the muscles. So this is specifically T4 and the heart is a muscle, right? So the heart is going to need T4, just like all the other muscles in your body. And then lastly, uh, just wrap it up real quick. So I also mentioned high cholesterol as being a side effect of low thyroid. So what happens is there's definitely a thyroid liver connection. And when you have low thyroid, you struggle in order to clear cholesterol appropriately. And so what this does is actually elevates levels of LDL, so the bad cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, and it reduces levels of the HDL, the high density lipoprotein. So you get kind of this flipped cholesterol numbers compared to what is like healthy, right? Like you get high LDL and low HDL, and it may increase your overall cholesterol numbers as well, like that overall value as well. And it uh, will also impact the triglyceride values. All right. So for more on that, like for a quick assessment uh, of like a full panel of how all the different ways that low thyroid impacts your body, be sure to check out today's show notes, take that assessment there. And I also mentioned uh, like, if you can't stick around for today's episode or whatever, check out that summit link in today's episode, because this ties in more to the three things that make you tick, which are thyroid hormone, uh, insulin, and cortisol. So, and I, I, I approach this from a weight loss um, view for the very first time ever in this summit. So check that out today's show notes. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. 